What's up, survivalist? Jason here. And as you can see, I'm at Goodwill. I'm gonna try to at least get to two or three different Goodwills to see if I could actually find anything worthy of camping, outdoors, different tools that could help me in the great outdoors, or just in general stuff that would help me in my career of a park ranger or forest ranger later down in life. So let's go inside and see what I can find. <laughs> This is really hefty duty. That's a really nice bowl. And there's this thermos. And then a book area. And look at this one. 1001 Garden Secret. cooking outdoors. Just get some coals underneath there and it'll be good. Alright, I think this one is a little bit of a miss because I didn't really find much of anything in there. And then, like, kind of like, there's a lot of stuff that could be used as survival related stuff. But it was stuff that I didn't really need or want. Alright, I'm at my second Goodwill and let's see if this one has anything good. This one's a big one. Now look at this. It's a spot. For 50 bucks. Let's check. It's good. What? 
It's not even in there. What? It's not even in there. It's just the box. waterproof all right I'm not my last goodwill and this one's the closest one so hopefully I'll actually find something here Sides are clean. I'm taking this for sure. Need a big giant Stanley spotlight? Come to Goodwill. video let me just quickly go over some of the stuff that you could find at some goodwills now I think the very first thing that I actually found and shown on a video was the sunshade for your windshield now those are usually mylar and it's good for reflecting the Sun off of them and preventing heat from going in and what is that good for well you could definitely use it for a sleeping pad when you're going out camping now you just sleep, uh, just unfold it, and then I think it's a probably around four to five feet around there, probably closer to four feet. And then that is plenty enough for right here to about right there, and you can definitely use that as a sleeping pad. And it will keep you off the ground, preventing the ground from slapping the heat right from you, but also reflect the heat back up to you. So it's a good thing. I actually tried them, one of them once to sleep on and see how well it actually is. And well, it's pretty comfortable. And I didn't really have a blanket that time, but I didn't I couldn't really see the full potential that it could have when raising it above all the coldness of the ground and see how much heat actually brings back. 
So the next things are the tackle box, the lures, the containers. The containers were actually a really nice thing because you definitely could make plenty of little survival kits inside of or maybe even the little water bottles and stuff like that. You could definitely use that for camping and survival. But mainly for making the survival kits, you probably want those mini tins or the um, kind of like a food container. One of the food containers that I've shown was like that clear and green one is like has the four locks on it and I think it had like some type of silicone insert which most likely would make it waterproof or water resistant at least. So the next things are the candles. You can have to use that for warmth or light. The grill, little sheets that I have right there, you can definitely put that over the fire and just use that to cook on top of. The pots and pans, the books, there wasn't really that many books on survival, but more of just kind of like prepping stuff that you could probably use for like the gardening type of things, but I didn't really find much on the books on survival. Now the next thing is the saw. There's not normally the saw you probably want for just a saw to put in a pack. But you can definitely use it for survival if you wanted to, if you put it in your car or stuff like that. The next thing is that sharpening rod. Those could definitely be a really nice thing to put, slip just down into a pack and just use that for just sharpening up your, all your knives when you're just on some downtime. Next thing are the toolboxes. I really think that rolly kit was pretty awesome. I almost got it, but I decided to just leave it and I, I think I could, could definitely use something like that for the future, but I just didn't really think it was like a really good price for that, but I don't know. What do you think about that? It's a pretty cool thing to do and it, it is something to look into, but I just didn't really think I really needed it right now. Next thing is that spot. I wish it was inside that box. It would have been an awesome find. 50 bucks for something that is probably a 150 to 200 type of deal. And that would have been an awesome, awesome discount on that for just something for just survival because it's some type of GPS and it uh, tells kind of, I think either the authorities or someone who has the other end and just tells them where you are and to that you need help and just wait, wait to uh, say I need help and come get me and this is where I am that type of deal and that would have been an excellent thing to have while out in the woods and then finally the last things are the knives they on these three specific goodwills they didn't have a lot of like survival knives I had to make up some knives to actually use for survival or camping I think the best thing are is like just using it for camp cooking and probably just stuff to just uh, open fish up and just clean them, so open up game, anything like that. But definitely you could turn it into survival knives, but they don't have really specific knives to use for survival. But I think that Ulu was pretty cool, that Alaska handle type thing, and then it has that little blade shape like that. You could definitely use that for a lot of survival stuff, but I didn't really get it. I almost got it, but I didn't get it. But those are some options that you could use for just camping or survival in general when you go to Goodwill. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.